This is a relative motion problem that has two jets, a jet A and a jet B, that are flying two different paths. Pat, uh, jet A is flying in the straight line path, and we're going to assume that the up is our positive direction. So jet A is traveling at 700 kilometers per hour and is accelerating at 50 kilometers per hour. Jet B is moving along this curved path and at this at this point in time is direct its path is directly parallel to A and it is moving at 600 kilometers per hour squared and it is decelerating at 100 kilometers per hour squared and the radius of this path is given as 400 kilometers we are asked to do two things we are asked to find the velocity of of, of B with respect to A and we're asked to find the acceleration of B with respect to A. So if we look at the, what this means, the velocity of B with respect to A is the velocity of B minus the velocity of A and the acceleration of B with respect to A is the acceleration of A uh, the acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A. So in order to solve this problem, we have to figure out what the velocity of B is, what the velocity of A is, and subtract them from each other. And we have to do the same with acceleration. So if we look at velocities first, our, uh, our velocities, our velocity of A is easy. It's just moving along a straight path. So it only has a J component and it's moving at 700 kilometers per hour so it's 700 j and it is positive because it is moving up our velocity of b is going to be equal to at this point it's going to be equal to 600 kilometers per hour in this upward direction and that's j. So the velocity of b with respect to a is rather simple. We have our velocity of b which is 600 j minus our velocity of a which is 700 j and we get a velocity of b with respect to a is minus 100 uh, j and this is in kilometers per hour so this this means that it's 100 kilometers per hour in our opposite direction so our positive is going up and our negative direction would be going down so it's 100 kilometers per hour in the downward direction and now let's look at what our accelerations are so we want to figure out our acceleration And this is a little more complicated than our velocities because when we're moving along a curved path, our acceleration is going to have a normal and tangential component. Uh, so if we, if we look at the acceleration of A, uh, the acceleration of A is just moving in a straight direction. So, so because it's moving in a straight direction, it only has, it only has, it does not have a normal and tangential component it just has its acceleration in in this direction and this is going to be 50 kilometers per hour in the upward direction so it's going to be 50 50 J it's moving in the positive direction now B is going to have two things the acceleration of B is going to be equal to its uh, acceleration of its tangential component plus the acceleration of its normal component. And let's break these up. We know that the acceleration in the tangential component is the acceleration that is what we normally think of acceleration as, which is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. And the acceleration in the normal direction is equal to the velocity squared over rho. And we know that the acceleration in the normal direction always points inward. 
So, so when we when we look at this, we know that we we have a deceleration of 100 kilometers per hour. That's going to be our tangential part. So our tangential part is going to be equal to this 100 kilometers per hour squared in the minus direction. So it's minus 100 uh, j. And our acceleration in the normal direction is going to be equal to our velocity squared. Our velocity is 600 600 kilometers per hour uh, squared divided by our radius and our radius is 400 kilometers so so we don't need to do any conversions because kilometer is the unit in the numerator and the denominator and this is going to be equal to um, equal to 900 kilometers per hour squared now because of where this this jet is in this problem it is right next to this uh, jet a this 900 kilometers per hour only has an i component to it in in this particular case it it it's right along our x plane and x to the right is going to be positive so we can say that our normal component of acceleration is 900 i so if we look at this, we're going to say that the acceleration of B is going to be the tangential acceleration, which is minus 100J plus the normal acceleration, which is 900I. And we already said that our acceleration of A is equal to 50J. 50, 50 so to get the acceleration of B with respect to A, we can subtract these two from each other. So we have the acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A is going to be equal to minus 100J plus 900I uh, minus 50J. So when we combine these like components, we're going to get an answer of uh, 900I uh, minus 150j. So this is the the relative acceleration of b with respect to a. Now sometimes what we can do, we can take this a step further and we can ask for the magnitude. So the magnitude of, of, of the acceleration of b with respect to a is going to be equal to the square root of all of our components squared. So our 900 squared plus the minus 150 uh, squared. And this, this um, magnitude is going to be equal to 912 kilometers per hour squared. So this is the magnitude of the acceleration. And if we're going to get magnitude, we should get the get the direction that this is happening in. So if we look at this, we have 900i. So it's going this way. This is our, our i component, 900. And we have a minus 150j. So this is going to be 150. And if we draw this, if we draw it tail to head and tail to head, our vectors, and we look at our resultant, this is going to be the angle that we're looking for, this theta right here. And we could solve this with trigonometry, and we have an opposite, the opposite side over our adjacent side. And we know that to get that angle, we can use our inverse tangent function. So we have an inverse tangent of 100 over 150 over 900. And if we take this inverse tangent, this, this is what theta is equal to. So theta is going to be equal to... 9.46 degrees. So our final answer is going to be uh, 912 kilometers per hour squared at 9.46 uh, degrees, degrees this way from the horizontal.